The normal gestation period in dogs is approximately 63 days from conception. This, however, can vary by several days. Kuna mentions that when the bitch is pregnant, she needs proper care and a varied diet. The first steps, as Kuna explains, is identifying a pregnant bitch. When the bitch is getting her puppies, she will number one start, uh, start scratching the ground with her four legs and then she will lie down and try to push. You see her straining, trying to push the puppy out. If she pushes for more than uh, 12 hours and you see that she is straining and she is getting tired, then it is advisable to call a vet because there could be an obstruction. Otherwise, she will start getting her puppies and uh, one drop one after the other with a gap of even up to two or three hours. Uh, that shouldn't uh, um, make uh, anybody get worried. What one should do is if it takes such a long period of time, give her some uh, milk with, uh, with um, uh, glucose so that she can regain some energy. But if you see her straining and nothing is coming out for more than one hour, one or two hours, then uh, it is good to call a vet. Usually, the size of the dog's litter is mainly based on the type of the breed. Also, the dog's body size is sometimes a factor. I have had the experience of my dogs getting zero puppies after mating, and the highest number I have uh, been given by one bitch at a time is 15, 15 puppies. So any number in between is uh, possible. If you have fewer puppies, up to about uh, eight, then one should feel comfortable because uh, the um, lactating bitch will be able to take care of the eight puppies comfortably if she is a good mother. If she is not a good mother or she gets uh, more than eight puppies, then you will need to assist by making sure that all the puppies get uh, a turn to suck the mother. So you sit with the mother, you move puppies in and out after they have sucked enough, you, you uh, uh, remove some of the puppies who you think have uh, uh, sucked uh, sufficiently and you put in the, uh, the newer ones who have not had enough to, to suck. If one doesn't do that, some puppies will grow uh, big and others will remain small and the small ones could eventually die because of being, uh, being uh, uh, denied uh, the mother's milk. If the mother is bad, is a bad mother and some dogs are that, then one needs to start on uh, external feeding. You can feed your, your new puppies using either a baby formula which doesn't have uh, uh, lactose or you can feed your dogs on goat's milk. That is a good, uh, good starter for young puppies. Mortality of German Shepherd's puppies is normally quite high. This is mostly as a result of their immature immune systems, which in turn exposes them to numerous diseases. The most common dog disease is the fading syndrome, which involves death of puppies from birth to two weeks of age. Good healthy puppies, which have been born by healthy mothers, shouldn't have a problem if the environment in which they are being raised is clean and healthy. So there shouldn't be an issue of uh, dogs dying. There are, however, some uh, situations where puppies will die because if the mother is allowed to go about everywhere looking for food, the, 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 the dog is going to look for food in uh, places which are not very healthy and uh, bring back uh, 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 organisms that are going to affect the, the puppies. Or it could be uh, the, the, the ground where the puppies are is very cold. Then they are going to develop pneumonia which is going to kill them. So those are some of the things which will kill young puppies. 
but as they grow a bit older then they could die as a result of uh, two things number one is worms and worms is the greatest killer of uh, puppies uh, they start dying of uh, worms at the age from the age of about uh, uh, two months because at that age they have they are eating everything and the mother probably is bringing in worms if she is not uh, properly uh, dewormed so the puppies will pick worms from the mother or from the environment and uh, soon after that they are going to die so they need to be dewormed every two weeks from the time they are born two weeks uh, interval uh, the puppies should get dewormed uh, the other cause of death in puppies this time a bit older about uh, three months possibly a bit younger but uh, definitely from uh, three months upwards is a disease caused by a virus called pavo. Uh, that pavo virus affects puppies which have not been uh, vaccinated against pavo and whose mother has not been vaccinated against pavo. So the mother can transmit the virus to the puppies and the puppies will die. And that is the most common cause of death in, uh, in puppies. Kuna insists that puppies should be vaccinated against canine distemper, adenovirus 2, canine parvovirus, para-influenza virus and rabies virus. Uh, vaccination of uh, puppies should uh, start from the age of six weeks. Six weeks, they are given the first vaccination. A repeat is done at the age of nine weeks and a final vaccination is done at the age of 12 weeks. At uh, that point they are given a combination of uh, several uh, uh, vaccines. One is uh, against uh, distemper, or another one is against hepatitis, or another one is against the pavo, and uh, the other one is against the rabies. At the age of uh, th uh, three months, all those should be done and then repeated annually. Even though mature German Shepherds appear to be very aggressive, they are also prone to various diseases such as hip and elbow dysplasia. These types of conditions cause an abnormality in the elbow or hip joint of the dog and sometimes the joint can even become dislocated. If affected, the dog will likely limp occasionally or constantly and appear less active. Kuna shares with us how he deals with this, among other ailments. Diseases in dogs are not, uh, I don't know, I, I'm not a, a vet, so let me not say they are not very many. But I have not encountered very many uh, diseases in my breeding uh, life. But there are health problems which uh, are quite common. Number one is worms. Worms are a big part, uh, a, a big uh, challenge in the in a dog's life. Number two, you, know, you can get rid of uh, worms by deworming your dogs regularly every three months. For younger ones, every two weeks, and then after six uh, months, every uh, uh, three months. Then the second uh, challenge which I used to encounter. Uh, in the past is that of fleas and ticks. Fleas and ticks are a big challenge to uh, very many uh, dogs and this come about as a result of not washing one's dogs uh, regularly. Dogs will walk about anywhere and they will pick all manner of uh, uh, parasites, some uh, harmful others not so harmful so it is good to keep watch uh, and see that your dogs don't have uh, either ticks or fleas mainly by uh, washing them regularly then uh, the other challenge could be as a result of uh, eating food which is not healthy the dogs will get sick uh, they will vomit and sometimes they will even die as a result of eating bad food. But dogs are very tolerable 
but uh, that doesn't mean that they should be subjected to food which is not healthy. It's basically that. Physical injuries also uh, could come because dogs are working animals and they run and go about everywhere. They will get physical injuries uh, uh, in their legs or get scratches by wires here and there. But, but uh, those ones here quite easily and uh, you can, uh, uh, they are easy to take care of. As a German Shepherd breeder and a trainer, Kuna's most crucial tasks begin at a very young age. Uh, training is a different undertaking from, uh, from breeding. And one can specialize in uh, training or specialize in breeding or if they have time they can get involved in the two of them. Personally I have decided to get involved in the two of them so that uh, my knowledge about dogs is, uh, is uh, wider. Now training of a dog can start from as young an age as the dog can hear you or see you. A dog is ready to receive uh, training. But the amount of training you can give a dog uh, or, the level of, or the levels of training to which you can take your dog is dependent very much on the age of the dog. The very basics uh, of a uh, training are uh, calling your dog to come to you. That one you can start doing that from as early as your dog can, uh, can see you. Then it comes to giving uh, commands like uh, sit, uh, stay, down. Those ones you need a dog that is running around uh, from the age of about uh, three months. And then you can continue. Uh, up to the highest levels of uh, dog training. To train your dog, number one, you need friends to be friends with your dog. If you are not friends with your dog, you will not be able to train your dog. Uh, friendship in a dog comes that uh, in uh, such a way that you can play around, jump about with the dog, say good things to your dog, and generally be happy with your dog. If you do not have that, then you are uh, not going to become a very good uh, dog trainer. Then after you have uh, trained your dog and you are good with training uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with those characteristics, then you need to know the dog's mind, how the dog learns. Dogs do not learn the way human beings learn by being told things uh, but rather they learn through conditioning so that you condition your dog to respond in a certain way when certain circumstances uh, come. If for example you want to train your dog to sit, a dog will not, never get to know what the word sit means unless you demonstrate and condition it to sit when you say the word sit. You say sit and you make your dog uh, take the sitting position. And then you reward the dog for doing that. Repeat sit, make your dog sit, give your, your dog a treat or reward him. After repeating that a few times, your dog will come to anticipate uh, to be rewarded when he hears the command sit. So instead of waiting for you to position him in a seat position, he will sit himself because he knows that he and he is expecting the reward that you are going to give him. So learning in a dog is conditioning which needs to be repeated again and again and again as many times as it takes for your dog to respond first time at being given the command. Record keeping is a necessary element of good dog breeding business. Kuna keeps records of each dog's performances, identifications, vaccinations and breeding among others. Dog breeding being a business like uh, any other, one needs to keep uh, good records. These records are for each individual dog, when it was born, when you started breeding, 
the number of puppies that she has, uh, she gives you at uh, in one time, and uh, that is now the fertility. And uh, finally, uh, if you take your dogs for dog championships, uh, the uh, classes that she has won uh, and the awards that uh, the dog has been given. So those are the records and also of course the amount of food they eat, the money input. The past 34 years, Kuna has seen his dog breeding business grow from a home security project to supply his breeds to local and international markets. My dog breeding business has uh, developed quite uh, fairly. I am not uh, disappointed. I have uh, bred dogs uh, for the local market. I have also sold a few dogs into to the international market so that even when I am importing dogs, uh, I have a name that is known uh, internationally. So when I am um, getting dogs, I am sold dogs which are of a good standard because the people from whom I import uh, know and understand my breeding. Then, uh, as a result of my long life with the dogs, and uh, of course my advancing uh, age, I have uh, decided to recruit and uh, young people and train them at uh, Nofi so that they can take up uh, dog training and uh, get uh, opportunities for employment either as a private dog trainers or in uh, security uh, uh, companies and some of them have done quite well and uh, some of them are doing I will say quite well. Finding a market for German Shepherd puppies is very crucial one of the challenges that Kuna faces is the skepticism over the cost of the puppies, which is at 35,000 to 50,000 Kenyan shillings. My market, or the market, the market for my dogs is uh, mainly private individuals. Private individuals who have challenges in uh, regards to security and they would like to enhance their, their, their security. Then there are those people who just plainly love a beautiful dog. Those ones are also uh, part of my, 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 my target. So we breed dogs for two purposes. Our dogs are multi-purpose, good security dogs and good co uh, family dogs. And uh, we are there. Now my international market is uh, mainly because of uh, breeding. The people who buy my dogs uh, from the international market are the ones who want to, particularly at this time, to breed uh, black German Shepherd dogs. There are not very many uh, breeders of black German Shepherd dogs and uh, from the exposure that I have uh, acquired I have had uh, a demand for my dogs from as far afield as uh, Europe, uh, China uh, and uh, the rest of Africa for my black German Shepherd dogs. So we specialize in black German Shepherd dogs. The prices keep changing. When I started uh, breeding dogs, we were selling dogs for 3,000 shillings. I bought my first one for 3,000 shillings. But uh, today the prices have gone up very much because of uh, number one, people have been exposed to good dogs and they feel that uh, they would uh, like to have a good dog even if it is going to cost them some uh, uh, more money. At the moment, we sell our dogs for between 35,000 shillings and uh, 50,000 shillings uh, depending on uh, several factors. Sometimes we go down 
and other times we go up a bit. Yeah, that sometimes it goes up, other times it goes down. It's something, not something which uh, uh, can be, uh, you know, uh, forecasted and you see, we will sell at uh, this price. When we get puppies like the ones we have at the moment, we have some who are about uh, a day and a half old. People are uh, calling and they want to book, but we don't know what factors will be in uh, play when they are ready to go. Probably the prices will have gone up to 80, 90 or even 100. So we are reluctant to promise people, just tell them call when the puppies are six weeks, then we will talk. Most dog breeders lose in this business because of crossbreeding. Kuna has set high standards for this business as he only breeds with quality German Shepherds stud dogs. Dogs breed them in the wrong way and uh, therefore create a bad name and therefore nobody wants to buy from them. So that is uh, the greatest challenge people have. They feel that there is good money to be made from uh, breeding. All you need is to have a male and a female and you are going to get puppies which you are going to sell. They do that, they don't know how to sell, they don't know how to get exposed and uh, therefore the puppies mature in their compounds and nobody really wants to buy a mature dog. So they have a problem. They breed some more, the previous puppies are still there maturing, raise some more and uh, eventually the compounds are going to be full of uh, dogs and they, they don't know how to, what to do with them. So personally I don't have that challenge of a uh, of, uh, market. Kuna and his lovely daughter have future plans to grow this business but also advocate for animal rights in Kenya and East Africa at large. Breeding in Kenya has, uh, is uh, an undertaking that has uh, uh, attracted very many people, probably due to lack of uh, employment. There are very many people who feel that if they get into dog breeding, they will probably make some income from uh, breeding. Now, such kind of uh, breeders do not know, number one, uh, the kind of dogs that they should breed, they do not know uh, the reasons for breeding and they therefore go into the production of uh, puppies of all manner of uh, breeds and they therefore uh, create a bad name for uh, breeders in the Republic. Breeders who are acknowledged by East Africa Kennel Club go uh, uh, or undertake their business uh, guided by the regulations of the kennel club which has a set of rules which must be followed so that the end result of breeding is a good which is uh, reputable, a dog which is uh, happy and a dog that uh, lives up to the international standards of that breed. Therefore, my uh, feeling and the feelings of uh, the East Africa Kennel Club is that there are very many people who are doing bad breeding in Kenya and it is for that reason that uh, East Africa Kennel Club has taken several measures to see that they um, uh, bring breeding under control or at least they safeguard the good name of good breeds, of uh, dog breeds in the Republic so that uh, they are not interfered with by uh, people who breed uh, poorly. Now about uh, rights, animal rights in Kenya. Animal rights uh, in Kenya is something which uh, is getting to the attention of uh, people. There is number one, the KSPCA, which has uh, worked tirelessly for uh, very many years to see that animals are not mistreated. 
they have done a very good job of uh, rehabilitating dogs which have not been uh, uh, taken good care of, uh, donkeys which are mistreated, and generally all manner of uh, livestock. The City Council of Nairobi is also now getting involved in uh, the, uh, getting interested in the animal welfare. They have set up regulations which must be followed by all uh, people within the county who uh, keep animals, dogs, cats, cows and everything else included. They have even introduced a license which is renewable annually and inspection by uh, officers of the county uh, to come uh, uh, to visit uh, 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 compounds where dogs are, are kept to see that they are kept in a healthy, humane manner. So it is an awareness, uh, animal rights is an awareness which is slowly being created and uh, being adopted by people. My goals and aspirations for the next few years, uh, number one is related to what we have just talked about, about uh, human uh, animal rights for, for dogs. My daughter and me are thinking about uh, starting uh, an initiative um, uh, to educate people about the welfare and the rights of animals. We are thinking that we should uh, look for partnership with uh, relevant animal rights uh, people so that we can create awareness about uh, dogs and uh, uh, see that people raise dogs in the right way and dogs which are not uh, taken very good care of are homed to people who can take good care of them. That is still a small idea which we are thinking about but uh, we want to take some positive steps to develop it. As a parting shot, Kuna shares nuggets of wisdom for aspiring and current dog breeders. Think very deeply uh, about dog breeding. Get to understand what dog breeding is all about and uh, to get to understand what dog breeding is all about, one needs to interact with dog breeders. Those who are successful and those who are upcoming and those who are giving up because there are very, very many who are giving up so that you can get to know the reasons why they are giving up. There are very, very many challenges in becoming a successful dog breeder. Or well, number one, you do not become a dog breeder so that you can make money. You cannot become a millionaire from dog breeding, no matter what you do. You can make reasonable living out of breeding, but you cannot become extremely rich. So if you want to become uh, a dog breeder, talk to breeders, get their experiences, so that you can get to know whether you need to continue or you want to take some other uh, option. Uh, at Kuna Dogs we do both uh, dog breeding and uh, we also train. Uh, our, we, we breed uh, black German Shepherd dogs and we also breed dark Sibu German sh uh, Shepherd dogs. And uh, we regularly have puppies which are available uh, for people who might be interested. We are also involved in dog training both for basic obedience but, and also for uh, championship obedience. We also train dogs for security work, that is guard dogs and also sniffer dogs. If anyone you, uh, is interested in getting in touch with us, our contact is uh, now telephone number 0721 
982-203-9082-203 or you can get us on our Facebook page Kuna Dogs or our website kunadogs.co.ke uh,